Good morning everybody and welcome. We today are hopefully going to be finishing the wheat planting and that's probably going to happen might only be an hour I think left. Um, we did I think we're just running out of the one variety and we're going back to the original variety just to tidy up that last bit. So I'm going to take the white Akko or what we call a screaming demon um, down there and I think we've got about a ton or so left in the bin but we don't need that much but we'll um yeah i'll go down and meet brad i think this might even be his first time on the planter so i think phil's preoccupied this morning so he's uh jumped on there and then after that we're going to be putting some weights on the steiger try to control that power that's uh going through those singles let's see if we're all Ready to go here. Just a quick check, make sure that no oil has escaped since, what, probably 12 hours ago since I put it here. It's gonna take a while to build up the air, so. You're in the what 21st century with those things in your ears. I'm a modern man. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> That's we a birthday try. present. That's what that is. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. No, they're pretty handy. This don't millennial get, stuff's pretty good. You don't get um too much background noise when you're trying to talk. People can hear you. Oh no, they do struggle. Yeah, I, I found I can only use the um the big headsets. You think you run out? I like to go and have big. We just say 500 kilos, so probably half up the glass. That's where that's peaking up. Yeah, we'll probably spot it there. Oh, that's... Well, so Brad's going to have a dig to see whether he ran out, but trying to obviously, it's a fine line. You want to, you don't want to dump grain on the ground, but you don't want to run out. So you got to, got to try, try your best. Don't run out on me now. I don't really want to get in the bin and clean it out. Come on. Oh dear, we're gonna make it. Maybe a 
bit much. So after this, I reckon there's, yeah, there's probably a good hour or so left here, maybe. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have to put some weights on the Steiger. I mentioned it in the last video, but it, um, yeah, just power hopping a bit much. And we, cause we did some tires on probably a couple of videos ago now, not sure where I'm at, but the, yeah, two, well, one rear tire had a bit of a leak in the sidewall and to keep them even, we bought two new tyres because there was a few cracks on the other side wall. Now, it could be, it would definitely not helped by running lower pressures to try to get the traction, um, because we, when we're running in rocks, we don't want the jewels because then rocks can get caught up in there and um, wreck the tyres that way. So we may have to, yeah, just see how we go with the weights and then we may have to put the jewels on maybe with some spacers to keep the distance a bit wider so the rocks can't get jammed in there. But um, that's, that's what we're doing anyway. So once this is done, we've got to do that. And then we'll be getting started on the barley. There's 200 and, about 250 hectares of barley to do. And then we might as well all go on a holiday because I think there's going to be maybe a week or so uh, break. And um, then we'll be into chickpeas. But I don't know who I'm kidding. There's no, not going to be a holiday. We've got plenty of broken down gear we've got to fix. And maybe we can get the engine back for the cat. Um, and uh, yeah, be able to put that in, maybe, who knows. Anyway, we'll do some checks, make sure everything's good. What you find? Oh, this one needs a bit doughy. You're gonna re, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna redo this a bit, yeah. Otherwise, I won't hear the end of it. Yeah, well, it's right when everyone drives too. Yeah, that's it. Hey, right, off you go. Yeah. Plan change. Ah, uh, that trap door's back in. Huh? The trap door's in. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Alright. Drive it hard. Wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact, that truck, when we got it, was only a lazy axle. So that means only one of the rear axles were driving. And if you try, if you've ever tried to use one of those on the farm, you end up not going anywhere pretty quickly. So we actually, there was another, uh, there was a prime, an international prime mover, which had, I think it was a wreck or just the back axles. And anyway, we got it all converted over so it was uh, bogey drive, so both axles were driving, and um, yeah, it makes it a lot more usable. All right, I've got to hold the camera, hold all my stuff.
there's only about 100 meters of wheat planting to go. So a total of, I think there'd be about 520 hectares of wheat. So, um, well, to be fair, we still do have to plant the organic wheat, but that's a side note. Done and dusted. So, I'm gonna see how much seed is left to probably have to dump somewhere. Hopefully not too much. Well, there might be 100 kilos there, maybe. Um, yeah, so that's not too bad at all. Alright, we'll dump this and then head up. We'll probably have to unhook the Steiger and then we've got to pull the rear wheels off uh, because we've got to put weights on the inside and outside of the rim. So they go on those holes there. And uh, we'll load this bad boy up. Well, we made it. We're just topping off with fertiliser. And then these, these bags here is the barley. So they're only half a tonne in each bag. Don't want to spear a bag. I'd be popular. Never seen the half ton bags before. Oh, oh, fire out. Hey. Yeah, she's up. Auger clean? I don't know, yeah, I don't know whether I like it. No, fit leave it. Yeah, we got to uh just got now at one time. Probably might have to get the cleaner ready and then one also and then so I've got one one point to do. Oh. Well, that wouldn't have been doing much seeding. Where does that one go to? Here. Huh. Well that's a problem. I don't think we can duct tape that back on. Oh, we do have spares thankfully. Huh. Haven't seen that one before. Given it a once over, there was a couple of things we had to fix. There was a tine that was busted up, uh, or just the end of it was broken off. Swapped that over, got that diffuser fixed, um, we've calibrated it, and now I think it's basically just going to check it and then we'll go and unhook it so we can work on the Steiger putting the weights on without mucking around with the planter. So just check that everything's, everything's coming out as it should. 
looks okay. Let's try a pocket cam again, see if this works. Well, we've got the wheel weights in, so we've got the outer ones in and the inner inner ones. So obviously we had to pull it all off as you would have seen in the time lapse. Um, and yeah, the second side we did went a lot quicker because we actually kind of half knew what we were doing. So the first one's always the experimenting side. Um, but yeah, so there's another 800 odd kilos on each wheel. So that's 1600 kilos on the back axle. And then with the front weight, there'll be a similar amount on the front so we want to keep it roughly what it was because it was balanced fairly well um, but yes we'll better not leave this here we'll um, hook it up and give it a try so with the front here um, that's all bolted up now it is good it will give it a bit more protection as well but yeah just this part here where you can see how thick that is um, and that without the extra weights on there is about probably 1.6 tonnes so um, similar to what the extra weight we put on the back and um, yeah we can go scrub bashing with this now so problem is we will lose a bit of visibility down here to see um, just with the toolboxes here and that but um, it will be actually nice to be able to carry a bit of stuff in there too so that'll be good and uh, what Christmas has come I've been bending a few hubs I think it's a new saw yeah righto wonder if it's stronger we'll see it's pretty hard, the rocks and contours are a combination that aren't so good. Oh yeah, we've 
we've got all those pins. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Then we've got our points as well. Not too bad down there, you can see. Will take a bit of getting used to, but maybe we'll stop the power hopping. So I guess if we weigh it, we'll know. Well, I think we'll only fit one uh, one wheel on each one, so we'll have to straddle it. Should be able to just do one front, one back, and that'll give us roughly what we're dealing with. It is a bit of an angle, but we're not going for that precision here. I think you want 55% on your front axle of your weight and 45 on your rear. So that's what we're going for. fuel as well because there's probably uh, nearly a ton and a half of fuel when this is full so you want to do your weights when you're about half to get the most of it what do you want well, I want to know how much what the percentage yeah so well don't What's, what was the front weight? It's triple six. So 6.66. Yep. Plus what's the rear? And the rear is 555. 5.55. Yep. So if we divide 60.66 divided by 1.2, 55. Yeah, so five, that's 55% on the front. Oh, we'll, we'll fill up the fuel if you like and yep. then we'll check it again. Just the usual mucking around. 6.8 divided by 1.245 equals, well then we can times that by 100, no, times that by 10. Anyway, we get the gist. Uh, so yeah, 54.6% on the front. 54? Yeah. That didn't really change it. Sure there's an easy way to do that maths, but that worked. It's a good one for you kiddies. If you want to be good at, good at farming, make sure you uh, learn your maths. There's a lot of maths involved.